Hello, welcome back. A few months ago I built a solar filter for my telescope and I've been getting really good results with that but I now want to take it to the next level and get much higher resolution images of the sunspots. To do that I'm going to have to build a dedicated solar telescope. So let's get tinkering. I'm going to base my super high resolution solar scope on this old budget telescope which I bought second hand about 10 years ago. I haven't used this scope for at least 5 years and whilst it's quite large it is a budget instrument. So to make it able to image sunspots at high resolution I'm going to have to modify it to overcome some of these shortcomings. Budget telescopes come with a lot of compromises which under normal observing conditions can't be corrected but observing the sun is very specialist so I can use this very specific application to minimise some of the inherent problems. Most of the problems arise from the budget lens so let's have a quick look at what these problems are and how I'm going to address them. If you look carefully at this image of the moon taken by reddit user Foxcode using a similar telescope to mine you can see that there is a blue fringe around the edge. This is because the lens can't focus all the colours of the rainbow at the same point, so the blue part is out of focus, causing this ugly fringing. But more importantly, and less obviously, the blue is also out of focus across the whole image, reducing contrast everywhere. Light from the sun is made up of all the colours of the rainbow. I'm going to use a specialist filter that will only let through a little bit of the green spectrum. And since only the green light will land on the camera sensor, problems with chromatic aberration are eliminated. Another common problem with budget and not so budget telescopes is something called field curvature. This is where you bring an object to focus at the centre of the image and as you move progressively away from the centre of the image, the image starts to lose focus. This is really noticeable on stars, not so much so on other objects, but the end result is a softening of the image in the corners. Fortunately, I'm going to be using a small image sensor which only takes light from the centre of the image, meaning it won't be a big problem for me. Now I'm not going to get the sharpest possible images from this telescope without doing some more work. I need to clean the optics, they are very dirty, it's got a lot of dust on them. And I also want to line the inside with this black velvet. The sun obviously is very bright and stray light shining down the tube is going to reduce contrast. So the more I can do to absorb that stray light, the better. I start by removing the dew shield from the front of the telescope to give me access to the lens. This is to show you why I think using this velvet is going to make a big difference to the contrast if I have this down the tube. So here you've got just the matte back black paint that the manufacturer put on and this is the velvet it's so much darker so it should absorb a lot of that stray light that affects contrast and get this sticky back to black velour from hobby shops Amazon also sells it and it's quite easy to apply I remove the lens cell this holds the two lenses that make up this telescope the lens cell is fixed to the tube with three screws and that's the lens off you might be able to see the dust there you go you can see the dust on the lens and on the inside as well of the lens so that's going to be cleaned I should do that very carefully using lens cleaner and probably some distilled water to start with just to get the dust off if we look down the tube you can see that there are baffles all the way down which is a good sign they do a lot to stop stray light so with the black velvet as well I should have quite a good solution So I've finished lining the inside with that sticky back velvet and you can see that it's a lot darker than it was before I lined it. So this will help absorb any stray light rays that are bouncing around inside that will reduce the contrast of the final image. I've cleaned the lens, I did that off camera just to show you can see the difference. It's a massive difference in the clarity of the lens. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. I used this Optical Wonder alcohol which is just a lens cleaning fluid by Beta Planetarium, they're an astronomy company, and some Office Depot air dusting, especially air in a can. So I used this first to blow all the dust off. I then used the Optical Wonder with a uh, lens cloth to finish it off. I'm now ready to refit the lens cell. This slides on and is then held in place with a couple of screws. 
I also need to change this focuser. Cheap telescopes are cheap focusers. Cheap focusers make the telescope difficult to use as the image shifts as you move the focus in and out. So I'm going to use an aftermarket focuser, which I was given. It doesn't fit this telescope, so I'll have to make an adapter using my 3D printer. I've pretty printed this adapter and I've screwed it to this aftermarket Crayford focuser. A couple of the screws are a little bit too long so I need adjusting. I'll just cut them and then I think I'm going to add some black velvet on the inside here just to get rid of this shiny black and make it a lot darker. I can then slot it with this slot onto the tube of the actual telescope. To improve the focus on this I'm going to add a electric focuser. Now I'm add adding one that I already had. This is the Moonlight DC motor. This one just needs to go on there like that and then I'm going to have to find some way of uh, mounting it. It's important the focuser goes on square so I've drawn this red line around the edge of the tube where the adapter should come to. So my adapter works and I'm able to get focus on the sun. I should say it's very dangerous to look at the sun. I'm using something called a Herschel wedge which you can use with refractor telescopes to significantly reduce the brightness of the sun and along with a four times power mate which increases the focal length of the telescope to over four meters in length which is a very high magnification um, i'm able to get focus using this eyepiece if i can get focus using this eyepiece then i should be able to get focus using a camera I've set my telescope to slew onto the sun. All the optics are protected. The main telescope has a solar safety film, which I made a holder for a few months back. And the new dedicated solar telescope has something called a Herschel wedge, which only allows a small amount of light to pass through to the sensor. First, let's look at the images I was getting from the main telescope with the solar safety film. This telescope is designed for a low magnification, and I can get the whole disk of the sun in the sensor. But as a result, the sunspots are quite low resolution, and you, as you can see here if I zoom in. Now with the new solar telescope. Here's my first light image as a comparison at the same scale. And if I continue to zoom in on this, you can see there is so much more detail available. Well, I hope that even if you're not into astronomy, you found this project, Tinkering with Telescopes, interesting. If so, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.